So if we have this quadratic, ax squared plus bx plus c, we want to ultimately find the x-intercepts and the vertex. I'm going to start off with finding the vertex. First thing you want to do is identify a, b, and c. So the number in front of x squared is a, so a is negative 1. The number in front of x is b, so b is 4. The number at the end there is c, c is 5. Okay, then the next thing we want to do to find the coordinates of the vertex is use this formula to find the x-coordinate of the vertex. So we're going to have negative b over 2a. So this negative is this negative. b is 4. And then 2 times a, 2 times negative 1. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So we have negative 4 divided by negative 2, which is positive 2. As soon as we find the x-coordinate, we can find the y-coordinate by substituting it back into the original equation. So just using some good notation, every variable, x and x, turned into a set of parentheses so that I can type that straight across in my calculator and not have to use order of operations here. Okay, so I'm putting in two, and then when I type that across, this is like negative one times two times two plus four times two plus five, I end up getting nine. So my vertex is gonna be located at two comma nine. Next, I wanna find my x-intercepts. So to find my x-intercept, remember every point that is on the x-axis, like just picture for a second, right five up zero, right 12 up zero, right one up zero. The y-coordinate of all points on the x-axis is zero. So I'm gonna replace the y in the equation with zero. I'm gonna be able to factor this Otherwise, I'd have to use the quadratic formula, but we can factor this. To factor, I want this leading coefficient to be positive 1. So I'm going to start by factoring out a negative, changing the sign of each one of those. So now it's positive, negative, and negative. Let's just redistribute to verify. Negative 1 times x squared is negative x squared. Negative times negative 4x, positive 4x. Negative 1 times negative 5, positive 5. Now I'm going to ignore this negative on the outside and focus just on the inside. The number that is in front of x squared now is positive 1. Okay. All right, so I have 1x squared minus 4x minus five. I'm gonna use the X method to factor. So I'm gonna grab the numbers on the outside and multiply them together. So one times negative five is negative five. The number in the middle, negative four. I'm gonna bring that straight down. We're trying to think of numbers that multiply together to get negative five. And the only numbers to multiply to get five are one and five. <coughs> And if they multiply together to get a negative five, one of those numbers needs to be negative and add up to negative four. So we need the bigger number to be negative, so we have more negatives than positives. So that ends up being negative five and positive one. We're gonna put those two numbers over A, so over one. We're ready to factor, so this is one X minus five times one X plus one. This negative in the front still coming down. I could have just put in a negative, but I went ahead and wrote negative one to emphasize that it's a negative one out front. Okay, now that we have it in factored form, if things multiply together, negative one times this guy times this guy equals zero, then one of those has to be zero. We just kind of blindly follow process. We're going to set each factor equal to zero. So if I set each, whoops, if I set each of these 
equal to zero. I might set zero equal to negative one, but that doesn't make any sense, so that's not going to result in any extra answers. I'm gonna set x minus five equal to zero, add five to both sides, and I get five. And then here, set x plus one equal to zero, subtract one, and I get negative one. Now these are coordinates, so the y was zero, so this is right five up zero. So I have five comma zero, and then this one here, this is left one up zero, and these are our x-intercepts.